Hello everyone. Well, Ibasiak is still on his holidays and he's now come to the job of mopping the floors in this rental cabin in Sherwood Forest. So they've provided me with a bucket with some sort of a squeegee thing for wringing out the mop and this mop. Now I don't know how useful this particular mop will be because as you can see they've forgotten to provide a mop head. Fortunately I've come prepared and I don't really like mops and buckets anyway, I don't own them. But because I had a feeling the floors would be filthy dirty, I decided to bring my VATS floor mate cordless with me on holiday. Yes, I'm sad, but I like a clean floor. So I'm going to clean this floor that looks very clean. I vacuumed it of course, because they only provided me with a broom so I brought a vacuum cleaner too. So anyway, everything's been vacuumed, but I have a feeling this floor is pretty dirty, especially if they've been using a mop and bucket on it all these years. So let's get out the Vax Floor Mate cordless and see how much dirt we can remove from a floor that looks pretty clean. The floors in this holiday cabin are this rather nice real wood solid floor, none of your laminate here, and it covers all the areas, the kitchen, the living area, right through to the bedrooms. The only exception is in the hallway here where we have some ceramic tile and also in the bathroom it's also a tiled floor. So it will have been mopped the traditional way with a mop and bucket but I thought I'll test my VAX hard floor washer with lithium life battery so it's cordless, it's the cordless floor mate we're looking at today. I've made sure the battery is fully charged we can double check that, so let's remove the battery. And we can see there's a little button here, so if I press that, a bit difficult with one hand, but there you go, whoops. There you go. So it's showing it's a full battery because all three lights are illuminated. I filled the clean water container with some warm water and solution. And if we look on the other side of the floor mate cordless, we can see this is empty, this is the dirty water container where hopefully all the dirty water from the floor will be suctioned up using the squeegee at the front and it leaves the floor relatively dry. Underneath the cordless floor mate, if I can just tilt it, we have a set of spin scrub brushes. These rotate at a high speed and they're designed to agitate the solution into the floor to help dissolve and dislodge the dirt. Okay, so I'm just going to do a small section of the floor at a time. And for this, I need to apply the solution first with the machine in scrub mode. And when I've wetted a particular area, I need to suction up the dirty solution into the recovery tank. So as you can see I've completed this area of the floor, I've applied the solution and scrubbed it in using the spin scrub brushes. Now I need to remove all the dirty solution into the recovery tank which will hopefully mean I've got a fairly dry floor. So I just need to select wash and dry mode and pass the VATS floor mate over this area of the floor.
I've just done a very small area of floor. This bit I cleaned during the video and I've just done this side here. So not a huge area. It's still drying but I can already see that some parts are already dry so it won't take too long to dry, especially in this particular log cabin. If I turn on the underfloor heating it will be dry in, in seconds but I haven't time for that. But anyway, so that gives you the idea of how the machine works. And the result in the dirty water container may convince you that a mop and bucket isn't the way to go. I haven't owned a mop and bucket for many years. I've always used this type of machine. Before this cordless model, I had a mains powered floor mate. I've also had various steam cleaners, but nothing, in my experience, gets the floor as clean as this type of machine. So, despite the fact this area I've cleaned is not in a heavy traffic area, which will probably result in a lot more dirt, because if I was to clean this area here, certainly we're going to see a more dramatic result in the dirty water container. But if I hold it up to the light, you just might be able to see that from that very small area of clean looking floor, we've achieved this result. So that's pretty impressive. So I'm going to go on and clean the whole of this cottage or cabin. I'm going to do the kitchen area, I'm going to do this area which is more heavy traffic and I'm going to now do the hallway which is a tiled floor. So I'll do a quick demo of cleaning the tiled floor but I suspect there'll be even more dirt because we have walked in from outside directly onto that floor. But I think you might agree that considering a very small area I've cleaned, that's a good result. Using a mop and bucket, you'd just be spreading that water back on the floor. Okay, so I'm in the entrance hall now. Please excuse the dim lighting. I've emptied the dirty water container and I've refilled the clean water container with more solution and warm water. So I'm just going to clean this very small area of the entrance hall. You must vacuum or sweep the floor before using the floor mate. So, let's see how it does on a tiled floor. So, just like the first part of the video, I'm going to apply the solution by squeezing the trigger and selecting the scrub mode. And when I've done a certain area of the floor, I'm going to select wash and dry and remove the dirty solution. Okay, so I've applied the solution and the spin scrub brushes have scrubbed it in to the floor. Now because this is a dirty floor, I'm just going to leave the solution to work for a few moments. Only do this on hard wearing sealed floors such as this tiled ceramic. Don't do it on certain laminate floors that aren't sealed. But because this is a sealed hard floor, it's a ceramic tiled floor, it's fine to leave the solution just for a few moments just to give it more of a chance to dissolve any of the more stubborn dirt. So in a couple of minutes I'm going to come back and I'm going to remove the dirty solution by selecting the wash and dry mode. Okay, so now I'm ready to remove the soiled solution. I'm just going to pass the machine forward and back until I've dried the area. So that's the entrance hall finished using the Vax Floormate cordless. I've also done just a little bit of this wood floor that follows on from the entrance hall because I think that will be quite dirty. Anyway, it looks okay, it's still going to have to dry, but the proof of the pudding is in the dirty water. So let's have a look at that now. So here we are, this is the dirty water container, just have to remove it. And we'll take a look the dirty water. A little bit foamy at the moment. As you can see, actually it's not as dark as I expected it to be, but then again we haven't had very much wet weather around here. When we've been coming in, our shoes haven't been very muddy, much to my dismay. I was hoping to give it more of a test, but still, 
That's dirty water that was, that dirt was on the floor. It's now in the dirty water container and ready to be disposed of down the sink or the drain. Well, that concludes my demonstration of the VATS Floormate Cordless. All in all, it's a very good machine, especially if you own any of the other VATS cordless products, because the batteries are all interchangeable. You only get one battery supplied with this, but I've done a lot of floor and it's still three quarters full. I'm sure I'll be able to clean the whole of these floors in this rental cabin without having to recharge the battery. All in all, in my opinion, a much better bet than a mop and bucket. If you've liked this review, please subscribe because there are a lot more floor care reviews coming up, carpet washers, vacuum cleaners, and possibly the odd steam cleaner. So until the next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.